Klein has recently introduced some really impressive updates and to be honest looking at these amazing updates now it shows that functionality wise maybe Klein is giving a really tough time to industry leaders something like Cursor and Windsor because these new functionalities in Klein are just amazing. So we are going to review all of these updates in detail and we'll see that what has changed in Klein that makes it super impressive now. So before we start please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. Our goal for today's video is to reach 500 likes. Alright so to review these new updates by Klein you can simply just go to Klein website which is Klein.bot or you can just go to Google and look for Klein new version change logs and you can simply just look for that and then click on this link which is updates and just go to Klein.bot slash tags slash update and in this update section you can just open this first link. So the first thing that has changed is this task timeline. So storyboard of your conversations basically. So this task timeline is really impressive because if you just open Klein, by the way if you just wanna, if you don't know about like how to install Klein or how to use Klein, what you can do you can simply just go to Visual Studio just make sure that you have downloaded and installed VS Code on your computer. If you have not downloaded and installed VS Code on your computer just go ahead and download and install it. So to do that you can simply just go to VS Code download just go to this page and after that you can simply just download this for Windows. Make sure that you download VS Code not Visual Studio there is a slight difference so you can just make sure that you come to this URL which is code.vlstudio.com and then just download it for Windows. After it is downloaded on your computer then you can simply just go to this extensions tab. You can find this extensions tab on this left side or simply just click on Control plus Shift plus X on your computer and simply just look for Klein click on that and then simply just install Klein and then Klein will appear in here the latest version of Klein. And now the most impressive thing is so this will actually show you if you already have like used Klein so it will show you all of your recent tasks in this project. So let's suppose if you just opened uh, and any like any empty project so it will show you all of the recent tasks. If you just like click on any of these tasks and in here on top it will show you this task summary something like this. So this is our task timeline. So this is where actually this task started. You can see this task some you can you can see on this timeline some sections are gray, some are white and some are blue, some are green. So green means that task is completed, gray means that you have just like submitted a task request and then task is in progress and then after everything is done and task is completed now you can actually see that it is turned into green and there's a very detailed description of your task in here mentioned in here so you can see the first step is when we submitted our request so it is saying okay i understand the task we are building multilingual statistically generated website for a uk based digital marketing company after that on this blue section you can see it is now like changing code it is writing code it is implementing all of those changings it is using the agent feature and after that as soon as the task is complete you can see a basic landing page for the digital marketing agency has been created with sections for the header service industry. This timeline actually helps you to track your task completely to make sure that you understand that what client has done and it actually provides you more clarity. This is just super helpful. The next update is Gemini implicit caching which was actually much much awaited for me personally because it actually reduces cost. It actually reduces the total consumption of your Gemini tokens. You can see they have explained in here that when you are working iteratively with Gemini 2.5 Pro, iterative portions of your prompts can benefit from up to 75% token discount with no manual setup required. This makes one of the most powerful models on the market considerably more accessible and affordable. Another important feature is this dot client rules. So just like dot cursor rules, we can actually have dot client rules as well. So you can see in here, we can actually manage our client rules in here. You can simply just click on that. You can just like create a new file and then you can just like use that as your client rule. This works exactly similar as cursor rules file works. You can have separate general rules overall for the client and then you can have like particular dedicated rule for any sort of like certain project. So if this section was hidden behind my photo so here is where you can actually find this dot client rules. So you can simply just click on this button which is manage client rules. You can simply just click on that. You can just create a file in here and then you can just like maybe like create a file with .md or .txt extensions or maybe without any extension you can just like create a dot .client rules file. Another new feature is this slash command for new task. So simply just type slash new task in the chat input and the client will initiate the process of creating a new task preserving the context from the previous current from your current session. Perfect for branching explorations 
or starting fresh without losing your place. So this is how you can just use it. You can simply just go to your chat. From here, you can just simply uh, slash and then you can just like maybe use new task, maybe a new rule or maybe new report bug. You can just like create a GitHub issue with client or you can just sim simply just like create a new rule in here as well. So create a new rule based on your conversation. So let's suppose if you have like created a new feature inside your application, now you can just like wanna create a new rule based on that particular conversation for the sake of like later on, maybe like recalling it or reusing it. So you can just like do that in here as well. Then there is this message editing and checkpoints. There were actually checkpoints previously uh, in Klein, but not very functional. But now these are more improved and enhanced and you can actually restore any of your chat at any certain checkpoint. So that is super helpful. Let's suppose if you have like gone into a completely wrong direction, you can just like restore at any, at any certain checkpoint to make sure that you can actually save your work that you did previously. Then there are these other updates as well. I have covered like mostly the important ones, but you can just like go through all of these different updates on this URL. So far, functionality wise, client looks really promising. If you're using client for the first time and you're actually confused at how you can actually start integrating any of the large language models into client and start using it. So the easiest way is you can simply just click on this settings button here. After that, you can just like choose any of the API providers. You can choose any of these. You can just maybe like choose DeepSeek or Open AI or even like Cloud and Cloud you can actually choose from here and you can just like provide an API key and use Cloud 3.7 or 3.5 or my favorite one is open router you can just go to open router click create an api key in there use that api key in here you can find a lot of free large language models in open router so this is open router just go to open router.ai and in here you can just find any of the large language models which are available for free you can just like look for free and in here you can see this is quen 3 0.6b which is like a very small model but you can find quen 3 30b as well which is available for, for, for free then there is quen 3 or uh, 235b which is like the biggest quen model out there so you can just use that for free as well so you can simply just like go to your profile you can log in using google and after that you can just create an api key and start using any of these large language models absolutely for free so this was it about most of the updates by klein i'll actually create separate videos about that how you can create something like mobile applications complete full stack mobile applications in klein because i know that i have created several videos about how you can create mobile applications using cursor or windsurf but now this time i think klein has improved so much that i should like create more tutorials about client if you think so please leave your comments in comment section let me know what you want me to create using client and i'll actually create a video on that if you have any further questions just leave your comments in comment section i see you next video bye, -bye.